from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Ready to change the world? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. I've avoided this topic altogether, but I'm going to jump right into it now. While there's still time. Uh, this, of course, is going to uh, have a lot more to do with our Southern California listeners than anybody. But if you're a baseball fan, this matters to you. Uh, you may recall last season, the Dodgers turned their season around by by getting Manny Ramirez from the Boston Red Sox. And they didn't pay one penny of salary to Manny Ramirez. It was all paid by the Red Sox, who just wanted to get rid of the guy. And uh, Manny came to town and just had an amazing season. And essentially, he took a team that was at best a 500 team and he powered them into the playoffs of the National League. And not only did he uh, power them into the playoffs, uh, but uh, Manny also caused a lot of excitement at Dodger Stadium. Excitement that the Dodgers haven't had in a very long time. There's just no two ways about it. So when the season was over, everyone said, well, uh, you know, the Manny's contract is up. Will the, will the Dodgers re-sign him? And that's been the question. Well, according to news reports, the, uh, the Dodgers made Manny an offer of, uh, it was $45 million for two years. That was the offer, according to the Los Angeles Times and, and other media outlets. And they gave him a limited time to consider the offer so that he couldn't use it uh, as a bargaining chip with other teams, and they took the offer off the table. And to this day, here we are now, three months after the World Series ended, and Manny Ramirez has not signed with any team. Not the Dodgers, not the Yankees, not the San Francisco Giants, not any team that people thought would be interested in him, not even the Angels. At one point, uh, it was said the Angels might consider signing him. Nobody has signed the guy. I mean, he had an amazing, amazing season last year. And for whatever reason, nobody has signed Manny Ramirez. Now, I know here in Los Angeles that Dodger fans really took to Manny in every possible way. And honestly, I'm a Dodger fan, and I've been a Dodger fan for over 20 years. And I have uh, watched the Dodgers for much more than that. And uh, it's been a long time since the Dodgers were so compelling, you literally had to tune them in every day. And I was literally watching them every single day. And then I bought tickets to the playoffs, and I went because I wanted to see Manny in the playoffs. Now, it turned out the uh, Dodgers didn't go beyond the first round of the National League playoffs. And that was that. The Philadelphia Phillies uh, beat the Dodgers and went on to play in the World Series. But uh, it was an exciting season, and everybody everybody that I knew loved Manny Ramirez. Now, we all know the Dodgers draw close to 4 million people, and they uh, put it this way. I don't know the internal finances of the team, but I do know that if you've got almost 4 million customers and you charge as much as they do for parking and as much as they now charge for a hot dog and as much as they charge for everything, not to mention all the merchandise that Manny appeared to have sold last year, there's no doubt in my mind that the Dodgers can afford to get a deal done and sign them. And I think they should. And I wish they would. But uh, for whatever reason, it hasn't happened yet. And in fact, I'm reading in the Los Angeles Times right here. <laughs> it's right here. They were interviewing, um, who is this guy? Business manager for the Dodgers? I think he's the business manager. Says here, oh yes, Dennis Mannion, chief operating officer. Says here, the Dodgers will meet or beat their season ticket sales from last year, even if they do not sign Ramirez. This is according to Mannion. Says here, the club projects to sell about 24,000 season tickets, the same as last year. He said the sales pace is ahead of last year, 
Exciting the Dodgers' first trip to the National League Championship Series in 20 years. And the price freeze on season tickets. Renewal payments are due. Oh, by the way, the Dodgers did make it out of the first round. Don't bother calling to correct me. They, they played the Cubs in the first round, right, and beat them. And then they played the Phillies in the second round and lost. And that's how the Phillies went to the World Series. Okay. It's already three months ago. Yes, yeah, so they uh, Dodgers cited the uh, first trip to the National League Championship Series and the uh, price freeze they have on season tickets. They finally, for the first time in several years, have not raised the price on tickets this uh, coming season. Says here, renewal payments on season tickets are due Friday, and Mannion said he does not expect the uncertainty over Ramirez to impact... Most of the roughly 10% of accounts still outstanding. He said, we've had plenty of hope you sign Manny comments, but not you won't see a penny from me if you don't. Story goes on to say that Mannion said the Dodgers could probably sell another 2,000 season seats if they do sign Ramirez at the average ticket price of twenty nine sixty six, according to Team Marketing Report, which is a trade publication. Plus the roughly $17 that each fan spends on food, drink, and parking. Those additional 2,000 seats would translate into about $7.5 million in gross revenue. Look, all the numbers are there. There's no reason the Dodgers shouldn't sign Manny Ramirez. I don't care what happened with the Boston Red Sox. I don't care about his antics. I don't care what people said about him. The guy was clearly unhappy playing for the Boston Red Sox. And he acted up as uh, many temperamental talented people do. Yes, I was thinking of myself when I said that, yes. But uh, yeah, the, the fact is that uh, when he came here, he was a model citizen. He was a perfect gentleman. He he played ball in every way, on and off the field. I think the Dodgers ought to uh, re-sign Manny Ramirez and be done with it. And if they have to sign him for three years, fine. Four years, no, that would be crazy. But three years, get it done. Get it done. Don't you think the Dodgers ought to re-sign Manny Ramirez? Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. Now you hear our daily show six days a week, Monday through Friday from 3 until 8 p.m. Pacific time. As you head home. And Saturdays from 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Talk. And at our website, blowmeuptom.com. And then if you add in Sundays from 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific for the Tasting Room with Tom Likas, where we talk about beer, wine, and distilled spirits, we're on every day. We're pushing it to the max. We can't do any more than we're doing. So uh, just be sure to listen. Just be sure to tell everyone else to listen, for God's sake. All right, real simple. The Los Angeles Dodgers are still uh, dicking around with Manny Ramirez. What's the deal here? Sign him and be done with it. By the way, a report on ESPN.com says that uh, the the, uh, San Francisco Giants rumor that they are negotiating with Manny is baloney. The Giants don't have the money to sign Manny Ramirez. And it's uh, like a smokescreen. So the road is clear. Sign him and be done with it. Let's go. one 800 800 tom It's Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Long time, first time. Thank you. Uh, well, I have a theory that the reason why they haven't contracted Ramirez yet is because I don't think the players are getting along with them too well. Where, well, where, did, where have you seen any evidence of this? Well, during the, the last season or uh, the past two months he was here, he played real well for a couple of weeks, and then he did poorly, and then so did no, he. No, 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 that's not true. He never did poorly. And uh, can you name one player he didn't get along with? I'd love to know. I've never seen such a story. Well, I have no evidence about that, but... So it, so you're making maybe, it up? Well, I'm. I, like I said, it's just theory. You yeah, know, but, I, but, I but, but the fact is, what, if that were true, don't you think you'd see a story about it? Well, maybe they just don't want to bring it out into the air because, you know... Oh, come on! Every time there's been a problem on the Dodgers, has been brought out. Jeff Kent was having problems left and right with people. Yeah, that's true. And you read about them all the time. I just thought maybe that's what it was because 
for a while, none of the players were doing good except Manny. And then, you know, they just weren't celebrating as much after a while. Well, the Dodgers were this close to the World Series. I mean, it's the closest they've been in 20 years. Absolutely. And, uh, if, yeah, and, if Ma- and if Manny wasn't there, they wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's true. Definitely, that's true. So, I mean, really, if you were watching the Dodgers in the first half of last season, you think that team could have won the World Series? Uh, I definitely think if Manny would have been from the beginning. No, 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 no. Been. I'm talking about the Dodgers minus Manny. But in other words, the Dodgers as they existed before July 29th last year, do you think that team could have gone to the World Series? No, I don't think so. That's right. It would have made it to September. That's right. And have the Dodgers signed anybody or traded for anybody who would make it more likely that they'd get there without him? Well, I think I've heard that they signed Greg Maddox, but that's just a pitcher. No, no, that's last season. Greg Maddox retired. You, you, you don't no pay attention. Here. You no, don't. I just, I just recently <laughs> became a Dodgers fan. I don't know. Really well, all right, well, read, read a paper. Okay, ask your dad about it. The newspaper. <laughs> They're available everywhere. Jonathan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing, man? Doing great. Uh, well, first of all, that last caller. What was he talking about? I've well, that was Manny. First of all, the, the Dodgers need to sign Manny. They need to sign Manny. What he did the last half of the season when he came to the Dodgers, what was he hitting almost to four hundred? And then in the postseason, he hit five hundred. That's that's ridiculous. That's, I know. They they need to sign him. I don't. But the thing that bothers me the most that me and my friends talk about all the time is, you know, the Dodgers. They make so much money, whether they're winning or losing. They're always going to have, you know, forty-five to fifty thousand fans in the stadium. You know, as opposed to what the the Florida Marlins or the sorry the Rays, who only what they they struggle to get seven thousand in the seats. Like, well, until until the last month or two of last season, when people realize they've been in first place most of the year. But see, exactly. But see, you know, LA fans are always going to be there. Dodger fans are diehard fans. Although you know? I will tell you, uh, the Dodgers, and I am a Dodger fan, and I go to Dodger Stadium. Yeah. Uh, but early in the season, there were a lot of nights when they had twenty five, twenty seven thousand people there. There were not forty or fifty thousand people there. After Manny came, it was forty plus every night. Yeah, and it was it was a giant party, and it was great to go to Dodger Stadium. You know, like, yeah, it was amazing. I don't. I, it, it bothers me the fact that they're they're not giving him and his money. You know, and they have Andrew Jones. Just let him go. The Andrew Jones was, I think, maybe that's what they're scared of. But I don't think I don't think Manny will be anywhere close to what happened. The bust that Andrew Jones was. Andrew Jones, what a stiff! Oh God, that 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 hurt as a Dodger fan. That really hurt to see him. By the way, the Atlanta Braves, people. the Atlanta Braves, they are brilliant. When they let somebody go, Rafael for call. When they let somebody go, they usually know what they're doing. Yeah. They, they got they like definitely. That, have you have to be suspicious if the if the if the Atlanta Braves want you to have one of their players, they know something you don't. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. Can you blow me up, uh, Bill O'Reilly style? Well, yes, I can. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Here you go. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F- it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Right. F-ing thing sucks. Oh yeah. Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Pretty good. Like, I'm going to make this short because there really isn't much else to say. If the Dodgers not sign Manny Ramirez, I will cease to be a Dodger fan. Ned Coletti will have torn the team apart. He will have they they basically they were having a rebuilding year last year up until Manny came. They, he single-handedly turned them into a playoff contender, and they swept the Cubs, who I, I'm diehard from Chicago, but that does not matter. I will not be a Dodger fan. It just, it just won't happen. I cannot stand the fact that they're, they're messing around with this. Just get the freaking thing done. Just sign him. Just get it over with. Spend your money. Put it somewhere where it's going to be a guarantee that he's going to get at least two or three hits a game, you know, sub every four or five games that he goes 0 for 4, whatever. But sign Manny Ramirez. This is ridiculous that it's already January and we're still dealing with this. Well, I agree with you. Now, I, would you sign him for five or six years? Oh, I really 
wouldn't because Manny seems to have a shelf life within a certain speed for two or I, three. I, yeah, I, the, the, the Dodgers had offered him two. I think if they offer him three, the deal is done. I do. So just do it. I completely agree with you. Sign him for three years, sweeten the deal, give him more money for the, for the extra or for less of, for a minus a year, and, and give him what he wants. Sign him. Get it over with. This is ridiculous. I'm so tired of hearing about this. I yeah. want Manny Ramirez spring training. I, I agree with you. Giovanni on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Pretty good. All right. Well, I agree with almost everyone here. I mean, the Dodgers, they were, before they got Manny, their team had no power. They struggled to get people, you know, runs in. When Manny came, I mean, he exploded that team. I mean, he made the whole team look all, like all-stars. Um, and with the whole merchandise thing, I agree, because before the season, I went to probably two games before Manny got there. After he got there, I went about ten times. And I bought that long hair, like his fake dreadlocks. I bought a jersey of him. I mean, they made so much money, and they will continue making more money if they just sign him. I agree with you. Three years is the best, you know? Uh, just be done with it. Even if, look, even if you only get two good years out of them, what if you win the World Series? How much is that worth? Exactly. You know, um, they were close to winning the World Series. Um, the Phillies just avoided, you know, going to Manny, which was smart because he was just on fire the whole postseason. They just avoided him. They made the other Dodgers beat him, which obviously they didn't. But they have to sign him because, I mean, they lost some key pitchers that I thought were still pretty decent. But, I mean, this year, if they sign him and they have him for a whole year, people don't realize he was having a pretty good season with Boston before he got traded. What do you have, 39 home runs last year between the two teams? Something exactly. like that. Yeah. It, imagine if he was in the National League where the competition isn't all that great like it is in the East with, with, the, with the Yankees and the Rays. I mean, the, oh, yeah, the, the National NL League West, West is, is like great. the worst division in baseball. Exactly. I mean, his numbers will skyrocket. The team will be great. I mean, the Cubs, they were good but not good enough to beat us. And I think if they just sign them two years with the third-year option even, a player option, they'll land the deal. Yep, I, I think you might be right. Junior on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, what's going on? Not much. Hey, you know what it is? I think is um the past, you know, how the Dodgers been uh, dealing with Kevin Brown, uh, Andrew Jones. Hey, now they're talking about picking up uh, Adam Dunn. Get, don't sign him. Pick up Manny, and what else can you say? Man? Give him his what two years, forty five million. By the way, I'll Adam Adam Dunn is one of the leaders in strikeouts in the National exactly. League. Come exactly. on, <laughs> are you serious, man? Yeah, Manny Ramirez all the way, man. We have young talent. Bring in Manny, experience, thirty plus homers a season. I I agree with you, Rick. On the top, like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah, I, I think as much as I don't like the guy, he's a very, very good baseball player. The Dodgers need him. They just need him. I mean, when he came out to L.A., he blew up L.A. and and home runs left to right. He Him alone had more home runs than the whole outfielders combined. That, that should tell you everything there. Well, I mean, that speaks as much about how bad the rest of the Dodgers outfield is in terms of power as about right. how good uh, Manny is. Right. They just yeah, you, they just need to. Uh, I'm 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 a, I'm agreeing with everybody except for the first call. I don't, you just said you just became a Dodgers fan. I think you need to you know what baseball is, but they just need to give him his three years. They'll get the most out of him. I mean he's he's after he left for Boston, he's kind of going on downhill, but he just lit up everybody. Yep, good point. You know what? Give him one of those deals like Kobe Bryant gets. I'll let him opt out after two years if he wants to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's, he's going to bring in. He's going to bring in the revenue. He's going to bring in the people. That's what LA needs. They need somebody to come, come and check out LA. And right now, they don't have anybody. Good points. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay. Two, two words, Scott Boris. The the Manny, agent for Manny Ramirez. Yeah. Yes, he Manny was just. He was using the bargaining tool. He got $27.5 million for two years. Scott said, no, let's wait and see if somebody gives us more years or more money. Actually, my understanding is that the Dodgers offered $45 million for two years, which would be an average of $22.5 million a year. 
Well, okay, well, numbers might be different, but I thought it was 27. But still, Scott Boris, A Rod's, um, A Rod's, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. He's with A Rod, he has all the big names. And you thought, hey, man, you hold off for a little bit, we'll make more money if you wait as a free agent. And that's what he's doing. He's playing the game. Yeah, but the fact is, well, more and more teams are saying, we're not signing him. I mean, the Angels were rumored to be signing him at one point, for example, but the Angels just signed Juan Rivera for three years, who was a left fielder. So that's that. Uh, also, uh, uh, the Giants, although that rumor is being floated around that the Giants were negotiating, ESPN says not true. Well, definitely. So it's showing that nobody wants interest, interest in him. So why didn't he take our contract for two years? Yeah, well, wait, wait a minute. Our contract was rescinded. You you understand the Dodgers offered that two-year contract and then took it off the table. Of course, because you can't leave it on the table Well, that's forever. the thing. You know, that, well, that's, that's the bottom line. I mean, the, 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 the offer technically doesn't exist. But, it, but if Manny wants to show up, he could show up and ask for an offer, and they will, te- they will definitely give it to him. They will want to take a penny away from what they offered him from the beginning. No. And he knows that. It isn't a bargaining tool. I understand all that. But I, I, you know, I think if he, if, if he got three years, that wouldn't be a bad thing. But if we were to get Bobby Obreu or Don... Bobby, Abra- Bobby, Bobby Abreu is a stiff. He was a stiff with the Yankees. And, uh, the, you know, I don't know why the Dodgers would want Bobby Abreu. Another guy who strikes out a lot, and he just stunk with the Yankees. Stunk. And, and you know what? I'm not disagreeing with you, but if we were to pick somebody else, because we need somebody. And if Maddie's going to dick around, we can't, we can't do it. Well, uh, again, I, uh, you know, I think that uh, they should uh, come to terms just like that. I think three years... Uh, twenty-two, twenty-three million dollars a year. Want to make it twenty-five? Fine, be done with it. But if he got twenty-five million a year for three years, seventy-five million dollars, and he only played for two years, but you made the World Series, it's worth it. Well, we're gonna run it by Scott Boris first and see what he says. Who? Uh, blow me up. Wait, wait, ask who? Scott Boris. Oh, Scott Boris. Well, Scott Boris, of course, probably like get thirty million a year. I don't know if he wants 25 or three years. He might want more. He might want five years for 25. Well, that's not going to happen. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. The Tom Likas show. Short of commercial breaks means what? More me. Of course it does. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. We're talking about the, the L.A. Dodgers negotiations with Manny Ramirez. Why is this taking so long? Get it done, right? Megan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, Megan. Good. I'm calling to say that I love you and I love the Dodgers. I've been a Dodgers fan since I was born. And I think that Manny is the best thing to happen to the Dodgers. In a long time, and I think it's time to sign him, no matter what it takes. No, well, no, no. I don't think no matter what it takes. What if it was fifty million a year? Okay, well, not that much, but. Well, you said no matter what it takes. <laughs> he's worth a lot, I think, and I just wanted to call in and say that. How much would you pay him? How much would I pay him for well, how many years? <laughs> well, you tell me. Well, I don't know. I think the two-year deal that they gave him in the first place was a good deal. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Which they apparently ignored. Yes, that's very true, apparently. Because <laughs> uh, the Dodgers I, uh, took it off I the table. Down the sh- I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I said the Dodgers took that one off the table. I know, but I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. But I hope they do something to get him back. I hope they do, too. I, I definitely agree with you on that. Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Yeah, we need to keep Manny out here in L.A. I agree. You know, because, uh, you know, Andrew Jones is a bust. Jason Schmidt, don't forget about him. I, I already did. Yeah, him. <laughs> you know, they want to trade uh, Andrew Jones to the Mets. Let him go. Absolutely. We need we need Manny here. I'm waiting on buying his jersey to see if he's going to stay or not. Yeah, don't be buying the jersey yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if he, he stays out here. Well, good luck on that, Jeff. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. First time, long time. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm not going to ask you how you are because I know your money. But uh, <laughs> if, 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 Bar, 
As far as Manny, he needs to stay. I think this is just a bad business decision. I think they're waiting to see if he gets anything from any other teams because of the bad personal brand that he earned with the Red Sox. I think they'd be hard-pressed to find another player that's out there right now that is productive and as impactful as Manny Ramirez. Well, uh, Mark Teixeira wouldn't have been bad. Well, that, that ship has sailed, though. Well, that ship has sailed because we didn't uh, participate. Mm-hmm. That's why the ship has sailed. It's not like uh, we made him an offer and he went and signed with the Yankees. No, a- absolutely true. But I mean, the, the, the Dodgers did not bet on him theoretically because James Loney is a first baseman. Uh huh. And so is Teixeira. Absolutely, but I mean, but he's done too much and too good of a short of a time. He's been an absolute great citizen, like you pointed out earlier. I think he just needs to go build a house or something for Habitat for Humanity to get rid of that stigma or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should just Kevin Garnett did, you know, and go buy someone a house. I mean, what's the guy got to do? He was he was a great citizen. At the end of the season, he helped them get almost to the World Series. The front office has got to get over it and pay the man. Put a urinal in along the left field wall and be done with it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ty. Hey, take me out, uh, old school. All right, Brian. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Charlie on the Tom Likas Show. Long time, first time, 20 years. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tom, I want him to come 40 miles down the street in Anaheim. We need him. We'll take him as baggage, all his headaches. We need a bat, 15-year season ticket holder. Don't sign him in L.A. They could keep Boyle Heights. We'll take them down here. Well, they certainly talked about that, but it sounded to me like Artie uh, Moreno, the uh, uh, owner of the Angels, and Mike Solskjaer were just trying to drive the price up for the Dodgers. I don't think they had any intention of signing him. And uh, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, the Dodgers uh, haven't signed anybody yet. They haven't signed Manny. And the Angels went out and signed Juan Rivera to a three-year deal, uh, who is a left fielder. Yeah, we're gonna miss, we're gonna miss Garrett with Texterigo or Texterigo. We need something. I've had nosebleed seats for fourteen years up in the behind home plate. Mister Lakers, you're welcome anytime, man. Well, that I'll sounds good to me. I, I you know I do watch the Angels and I I, I do enjoy them very much. Uh, let me just say this: How did Garrett Anderson not sign with anybody? I have no clue. He's the, he's the bomb. And nobody knows he's there. Nobody knows the guy. He's Mr. Consistent. You know, for all the smile. time about Manny Ramirez being a problem, here's a guy who played all those years with the Angels, never made a wave, was okay. nothing but a good citizen, was nothing but a, but a, but a hard player, I, I played hard all the time, uh, uh, got the job done. And what, didn't he have 10 RBIs in a game? I think I was watching that game, as a matter mm-hmm. of fact. He kept him in the playoffs last year. We've had the cheap seats forever. I've seen him. We we love Garrett Anderson. We're bummed that, that they've made no attempt to sign him. None. Well, Zero. they had an option, uh, but it was $14 million. They want to pay him $14 million. But what's amazing to me is that no other team has tried to sign him or has, has made an offer that was acceptable to him. That blew me away. I have no idea. Tom, anytime you want to go to a game, I'll shoot you an email with an address. They're cheap seats, but they're right behind home. And we could just knock some cold ones back, man. Well, that sounds good to me. I do enjoy going to the Angel games. And, uh, in fact, we were, uh, first week of the season last year we went, as a matter of fact. Not opening day, but like the first week. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, why haven't the Dodgers signed Manny Ramirez yet? It's Manuel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, uh, I think, uh, they, it's not. It's not the Dodgers. It's Ma- it's Manny. They are, they gave him the forty the two year deal with an option for a third year, and he totally, completely ignored it. And Manny's been wanting a, a long long term contract. I was reading this morning that he's asking for a hundred million, twenty five million a year. So I think it's between the Dodgers and, and Scott Boris that they're not signing. They're not coming to an agreement. Because of the long term contract. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I, I'm not, um, obviously, I'm a baseball fan, mm-hmm. but I'm not involved in the business dealings of the Dodgers or any team. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would have to think that if you gave Manny the, uh, the ability to opt out of the contract after two years, or uh, if you had a team option on a fourth year and a mutual option on a third year, um, th- there's got to be some way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the uh, 
they they bought out uh, Andrew Jones' contract. They they let him go. No, that's not true. The Dodgers did not buy out Andrew Jones' contract. What happened with Andrew Jones is that the contract was restructured, so he'll right. get all the money. But right. he won't get it all uh, the, this year. He'll get it uh, mm -hmm. as time goes on. Right. And that right. was to facilitate yeah. a trade. To facilitate a trade and to get him out of cut, to get to, so, and he won't have to play with the Dodgers. He didn't want to play with the Dodgers. Well, keep in, in mind that Andrew Jones has the same agent as Manny Ramirez. Right. And this is one way that uh, the agent, Scott Boris, can say, all right, now I've reduced your payroll here, so now sign Manny. Yeah. And they still haven't done anything. Yep, you're exactly right. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jamie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Thank you so much, Tom, for taking my phone call. Sure. Yeah, I, I actually, for a while, I was a little nervous, uh, maybe not getting right, Manny Ramirez, but you know what? I, I'm feeling pretty confident we're going to get him. I mean, there's no other teams out there that either want him or can afford him. Somewhere well, along the way this week, I had read a story that, uh, that supposedly quoted Manny saying, uh, if he didn't get what he wanted, he'd just retire. Oh boy, that's interesting. I I'll it believe it. I believe it when I see it. Yeah, exactly. How do you leave twenty-two or twenty-three or twenty-four million dollars on the table per year? How do you do that? Yeah, exactly. I don't, under I don't understand I, I, that. All, at all. I, all I can tell you is I wouldn't. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I know that they were flirting with the Nationals for a while there. I mean, you know, come on. Now, obviously, he doesn't care about winning if he signs with the Nationals. The Washington it's Nationals had no intention of signing Manny Ramirez. The one they wanted was Mark Teixeira because he's from Baltimore. Right, exactly. And, and, and if they signed Mark Teixeira, it would be the same situation that Alex Rodriguez had of the Texas Rangers. He'd be the one player with a big contract, playing with a bunch of bums, stiffs, that losers. Now, I do like hearing that they restructured uh, Jones' thing, thank goodness, because he needs to go bye-bye. What it's a... not that easy. What I realize a, it's not that easy. Talk I mean, about got, a stiff. Oh, he's, my. He's another Darren Dreyford. He's another Darren Dreyford, unfortunately, you know. Well, Darren Dreyford at least had the excuse of being hurt. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I don't know what Joe, I mean, he showed up in spring training all overweight and stuff, and he just didn't seem to care. Yeah. And it was pretty sad. I mean, the first couple games he showed up, and the crowd was just going wild. It just, it was sad. Every time he got up, they booed him. Yeah. No. Before he even batted. A complete, you know, and, a complete And it didn't go to the first game where Manny came up, and I was at the very first game he was a Dodger, and oh my God, it was like playoff atmosphere in August. It was amazing. No, it, I, it was the most fun uh, three months of baseball I think I've ever seen. Tom, 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 like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's the telephone number. We have shorter commercial breaks. We move the calls along faster. We take more of them. You have a better chance of getting in. Proof is in the pudding. There's some more pudding now. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Why haven't the Dodgers signed Manny Ramirez back? What is the problem? Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. What's up, Tom? Yeah, not much. Chilling, man. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to agree with you, man, that, you know, Dodgers, they need Manny, but, you know, if they get Manny, they need to, you know, restructure their pitching staff because, you know, most of their pitching is gone. Well, Chan Ho Park, I see, signed with the Philadelphia Phillies. Brad Penny, um, did he finally sign with anybody? I have no idea. I think he's still a free agent. I don't know, but I think that guy, you know, that guy is pretty much going with another team. Dodgers don't want him. Derek Lowe is gone. You know, the only, the only good pitching the guy is left is Billingsley and, and, you know, that young rookie, Kershaw. Uh, they've got more than that. Obviously, they've got Takashi Saito and Jonathan Broxton in the bullpen. Scott Proctor moved on, uh, middle reliever with the Dodgers. No, well, starting pitching, you know, most of the starting pitching is gone. They have, uh, what, Chad Billingsley, Clayton Kershaw. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it, you know? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> uh, there's no doubt about it. Obviously, I mean, they, they can't, they can't just, you know, win with Manny just tearing it up, you know, and just hitting bombs every, you know, game and stuff. You know, they need, you know, the pitch. No, there's no doubt they do. There's no doubt they do. And I really don't know what their roster looks like right now because you're right. There have been a lot of changes. You know, and also they should make a run at Dunn, too, because I think Dunn is, you know, so underrated. You know, that guy would just tear things up in L.A., too. You know, he'll be, you know, a good impact like Manny. 
Well, I, I, I the thing about Adam Dunn, as I told you, uh, you know, he is uh, one of the leaders in strikeouts in yeah. the National League. Uh, he's not a great hit. He either hits it. He's like Dave Kingman of thirty years ago. You know, he either he either hits a home run or he strikes out. Yeah, true that, true that. But you know, those guys would be a, a good one one two punch. Well, um, I don't, I, again, I don't know if Adam Dunn is the right guy, but I, I certainly think Loney is getting there. Uh, Loney had a good season last year. Uh, Matt Kemp had a good season last year. Andre Ethier had a spectacular season batting uh, b- before Manny last year. Yep, the rookies are really coming through. The young well, guys. Yeah, well, they're not rookies anymore, yep. but uh, no doubt about that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Kyle. Evening, Tom. Yes. Hey, uh, just to touch on the pitching you guys were just talking about. Um, you mentioned Takashi Saito. He is a free agent right now. Uh, right, but I, I I was led to believe that he's going to sign. They just haven't they haven't finalized it. But I was led to believe he will sign. That all depends on how Trevor but, Hoffman signs because they've made a run at him, and the Brewers are still doing it. But, no, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. But did did they sign Trevor Hoffman? I think they did. I don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, there's a website called MLB Trade Rumors. It pretty much tells you no, everything that's no, going no, around. No, no, no. I don't. I think we have more than that. Hang on a second. I'm going to tell you right now because I I think they signed Trevor Hoffman. Uh, let me uh, let me go to the LA Times website, and uh, we will uh, tell you right now what happened there. Um, they made an offer. No, okay, it's still right. Yeah, they made an deal. offer. And as far as Manny goes, I know um, Scott Boris had promised him a five-year deal at a hundred million, and they're waiting the market out. And the same thing's going on with Derek Lowe. I know the Mets made an offer, and the Mets aren't going to put any more money for him. Scott Boris is making promises that he can't really fulfill for uh, Manny or Lowe or any of his big agents, and he's using the Giants to kind of play against us as rivals. Why would anyone think that the Giants are going to spend any money? I mean, other than Barry Bonds, who have they, what big free agent names have they ever paid? Well, oh, that's right, Barry Zito, who turned out to be a stiff when he got there. And the thing is, they're trying to cut payroll, and they're already $13 million over last year. Right. And signing, signing Manny would put them over the $100 million mark, and that's historically more than they've ever had. That's right. That would be the biggest payroll the San Francisco Giants have ever had. They've never been over $100 million, never. Three years, or four years, three or four years, or three years, four-year option, $100 million, sign them, get it over with. I think you'll be happy. Well, I think you're right about that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going okay. All right, man, this is what I got to say, man. I, I will boycott the Dodgers season, man. I will not go to any game if they don't sign Manny. I mean, here's a guy, here's a guy that, that single-handedly um, gave that, that extra punch. You know what I mean, Tom? Yeah. And, and not, not only that, the Dodgers, they look good in the postseason. Not only, not only did they uh, put up a good series against the Phillies, uh, they just look good. As, uh, I'm, I'm talking about, like, you have seen the Los Angeles Dodgers in the postseason. You know, they, they look good. Like, like, they're supposed to be there, you know? And, and here's a guy that can get them there, uh, I think, pretty consistently. Yeah, if they get them for a couple of years. And uh, yeah, I think you're right. By the way, Brad Penny signed with the Red Sox. He's going to Boston. Oh, man. Uh, uh, but, but, Brad, but Brad Penny was hurt most of last year. Right, he was. Pitched he lousy. Was. Yeah, he sure did. So and, if the um, Red Sox want to take a chance on him, let him. Uh, nah. But um, like an- another thing also, um, uh, the, the, the Dodgers need to show a little bit. They need to show commitment to, to to winning, man. They're showing no commitment. Like we, I've seen it time and time again where they'll just let good players go. You know, like they need to just show some commitment to winning. Spend up, spend some dough. You know, sign Manny. I'm not saying anything crazy like a, like a crazy ass a, a contract or anything, but you know. Spend well, the Dodgers, the Dodgers, I mean, part of what the Dodgers, I mean, you talk about commitment to winning, the Dodgers signed some of the worst free agents of anybody in baseball. Yeah, Bill, Bill Miller, Jason Schmidt, Andrew Jones, I mean, one yeah, stiff after another. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So, I don't know. That's, if they don't, they ought to show me something, man, enough for me to go out there and spend some money, go to the game, you know, but if not, I, I'll stay home and watch them on TV, man, you know what I mean? Well, I, I got to tell you something, though. You know the history here in L.A. You may say you're going to do that, but most Dodger fans will not. The Dodgers will draw again three and three quarter, almost four million people. That they will, whether you go or not. And they know it. The owners know it. They know it. 
So uh, rather than uh, boycotting, let's just try to encourage them to do the right thing. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I uh, just wanted to, uh, you know, uh, with the Manning situation, I know the Dodgers did offer him. Uh, they offered him a two-year with the option of a third. I think it was 40 or 50 mil. And uh, they shot it down. And, and I think the biggest problem right now is that Scott Boris, he's got he's got all these, you know, big-time players under his under his management. I'm sorry, under his, uh, you know, uh, there is the, he's, he's their agent. You know, he's got Alex Rodriguez, Mark Teixeira. And they're getting these hundred million dollar contracts, you know, and and I, I do believe Manny's worth that, but at the same time, um, you know, the headaches and stuff. Sometimes you don't. You, you, what you headaches? Can't find them. They haven't had any headaches with him. Well, no, no, not not with the Dodgers, but you know, um, he, he seems like the the player that that. If Joe that, Torrey, who Joe Torrey, who's certainly got a lot of experience and great credentials, if Joe Torrey says he can handle. Manny Ramirez. If Mike Sosha said that he would be happy to have Manny Ramirez, how many more recommendations do you need? Well, I mean, it's true. Any, any and who's any, more of a straight arrow? Who's him. more of a straight arrow than, than Mike Sosha? Do you remember that player, Jose Guillen, who uh, was on base and then wouldn't come out of the game that time? Yeah. And Sosha bounced his ass right off the team. That was his <laughs> last game for the Angels. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And he said he would be happy to have Manny Ramirez. Well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe now that he's in LA, and, and hopefully that they do come to. I a, think a that, the, the thing with Manny was he was unhappy with the Boston Red Sox. That's it. That's true. Uh, well, can I touch something on the pitching? Yeah. Um, well, the Dodgers are notorious for uh, using a lot of their their farm system. You know, they they've always had talent in the farm system, and they like to develop them. But you know, they. What what I think the GM's got to do is they they need to start looking to to throw some of those some of their their farm system into the trades and stuff and and uh, try to get these these uh, bigger name pitchers that that have been out on the market. Um, I don't know about I haven't really looked into this year, but I, I don't know which pitchers are out on the market. But you know, in the past they've passed up. Pass up some great pitchers. Well, the Dodgers have been very reluctant to trade any of the young players. Maybe it's time to start considering that. The Tom Likas Show.